I ride my unicycle an hour to an hour and a half every day and I, when I take off my riding shorts and hang them up to dry they always develop a crease right along the groin on either side and when I go to ride again that crease acts like a rope and it saws the skin right off of my groin I come back bloody I've tried many schemes to get these shorts to dry without the crease um, but what we really need to do is to somehow get the shorts while they're still wet out of uh, washing or after riding we need them to be in this shape this is a very complex shape see that there is a parabola this way uh, that is a catenary um, we have a parabola this way that's an arch and the two of them together form a solid that's called a hyperbolic paraboloid and conceptually a hyperbolic paraboloid is pretty simple but to make a shape like that is very difficult and this is for example the sort of thing that I've come up with it's a lot of work and it still wasn't very effective but I needed some way to get this to take on this shape when I did this particular form and put the shorts on it it dawned on me that I really don't care about the form what I care about is the shorts. I want the shorts to be in this shape. And it doesn't matter how complex or simple the form is. So you look at this and say, okay, what kind of a form is going to do this? I'm going to show you. It's something you can make in five minutes. All you need is a cardboard form like this. We don't care about what's happening in the middle. The shorts are going to take on the hyperbolic paraboloid shape all by themselves. All we have to do is have the legs held up by this shape. Well, I happen to have quite a few of these fold or these boxes that are uh, for holding magazines, and so that's what I use. But you can use anything. What you want to do to find out the the right shape for your shorts is to stuff them with something. Well, if they, you put them on yourself, of course, you can see, but you won't be able to measure anything. So, I've just stuffed this blanket in here. And by doing that, I have uh, the form that vaguely resembles my body. And now I can measure what I, what I would like this to do can see that what I want is a base length that is about oh, 10 inches or so. You can see that it's about 10 inches. Uh, and I also want it to be wide enough so that the cardboard comes to this width here, which is 6 inches. And I can see that the height that I want from this part of my short is about 10 inches also. So it doesn't have to be very uh, exact, but if we look at the the way this is shaped, the butt side of this is actually stretched out considerably more than the front side. And so I would like to also match that. Uh, so with this uh, box uh, cardboard that we've got, uh, we can see that the bottom isn't even solid. Uh, and I'd like to have a solid bottom, but that's all right. The back side of this box is a solid, so that's what I'm going to use. And you can just use a uh, plain flat sheet of cardboard. You don't have to use anything like this. I just happen to have this, and so that's what I'm going to use. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold uh, the ends of this so that I have a little bit of strength uh, at, the, um, at the front and back of this. And I'm going to make it the same as what I had done here, which is a 9, and that worked pretty well. And I can see that this is going to fold right here, so that's going to be one end of it. And this will be the other end. I'll do a 9. And I'm going to put my uh, tail side on here because I already have a cut. Again, this is just because it's what I happen to have. But you can see, you can do this with anything. And I'm going to make it 9 inches tall. Which is, you can see that that's the most I can get out of this box. And I'm going to go up like this. So that'll be the front side. 
my back side, the tailpiece, is going to be stretched out. And I'm going to square that off a little bit at the top. I'm going to save a little bit of that end part for my uh, support. Then you see I've got those two tongues in the cut loose there. So I'll be able to fold that. I'm just going to fold it right here like that, and this one like that. Cut this a little bit more here. And I'm going to make that same kind of a cut, that same kind of a shape, right here on the other side. So I'm going to flare those out, those little wings. Now one thing that I also want to do with this is to have the um, end uh, dip down so that the shorts can lay down a little better than they would if I had a flat edge there. So you see I've, I've got a dip and that will accommodate the shorts a little better. 